Do you want to know who your champions are, track what activities they're doing, get a bit of healthy competition going with a leaderboard, and enable them to customize their Office 365 profile picture with an awesome badge icon? I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Riddout, the Productivity Coach, and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. Now, if you have a Customer Success Manager, or you've gone to adoption.microsoft.com, or have watched any of our webinars about successful adoption of Microsoft products, we'll tell you time and again that a champion's network is key to being able to adopt uh, new software, such as Microsoft Teams, or being able to push Microsoft Teams further by maybe enabling the platform, etc. But one of the things that you want to be able to do is really motivate those champions, understand what they're actually doing and what difference that's making, um, and maybe get a bit of healthy competition going with that uh, leaderboard. So we have a brand new champion management uh, platform, which is completely free. It's really quick and easy to install, and you can get it going in under 10 minutes. Um, and as a bonus, it's got a really great uh, application in there, which allows those champions to customize their Office 365 profile picture with a little uh, champion app uh, icon that goes over that. So everybody knows that they're a champion. So no more talking about this. Let me show you how it works and how you can install it. So here I am here and I'm at aka.ms forward slash app templates, which is where all of those Teams app templates um, are located and down here there's one here that says adoption tool champion management platform okay so here's a bit of blurb about it and it says get it on github and that will take you to this page um, now here are all the files that you need don't worry about this um, it's got all of the introduction how it works etc you can see uh, that we've got the leaderboard we can add members we can get that digital badge uh, on their icon um, and it shows you what kind of what that uh, leaderboard view looks like, etc. So we can go through all of these things here, and it tells you here how to install that champion leadership uh, package. So let's just do that now, and I'll show you how quick and easy it is. So firstly, it says download code or clone from GitHub. So what you need to do is up the top of this page, go back up to here, going to go on to code, and I'm going to download that zip file and that will go into my downloads. Okay, so once that is in, I'm going to open that file and I'm just going to extract all of that out. There we go. Perfect. Just leave that to do. Okay, so if we scroll down and you can actually navigate um, just using this tree menu up here. So let's go back down to here. So. Uh, install that so here there's a section which has got some weird code and it talks about customizing configuration now a few people have looked at this and gone whoa this looks too scary for me i'm out just ignore all of that because you don't need to customize this this is only if you want to change something so the next one is to deploy your package to sharepoint so you do have to be a tenant admin to do this it's a bit like if you install learning pathways you have to have a tenant admin to do the install but after that you can then delegate the admin to someone else Okay, so you need to go to office.com, you need to go to the admin center here, and you go to SharePoint. Okay, uh, and then if we just pop back here, so we've jumped a few steps. There we go. Um, and we're going to click on here, go to more features, and go to apps and app catalog. Okay, so more features, apps, and that will take us there, and then we go to app catalog. Now on the instructions here, it says, if you do not see an app catalog available, use the instructions here to create a new app catalog before continuing. So if you've already installed something like Learning Pathways, you will um, already have an app catalog, but if you haven't, then you may not. So you might need to follow those instructions to do that. And if I look at my app catalog here and I go to distribute apps for SharePoint, then you can see here, I've actually already got Learning Pathways uh, in place there. So you can see, and ones that I've put in previously. Okay, so um, I've clicked to distribute apps for SharePoint link. So then all I need to do is click the new menu item. So new, okay, choose a file. Uh, and if we go to the downloads here and that one that I have just got, I'm gonna browse through, I'm gonna go into the SharePoint folder into the solution. And there's this solution file called cmp.spp. KG. 
Okay, so I'm going to do that and click OK. And it will just take a moment and that upload has now been completed. So then it says, do you trust this? So we do. And we're going to make this solution available to all the sites in the organization. So I'm going to click deploy on there. OK, so here again, all of this is in those instructions. So then you need to go back to the SharePoint Admin Center and go under the Advanced menu and API Access. And then you need to select and approve all pending requests that are associated with Champion Management. So you can see why all of this needs to be done by an admin. So I'm going to go back to SharePoint Admin Center, go under Advanced and API Access, uh, and then they will appear here. So I needed to, when I did this, I did need to refresh a couple of times, needed to wait a couple of moments. There we go. And we can see they've now come in. So I'm going to click it and approve it. Okay. And again. And one more time there and approve that. Perfect. So we've uh, approved those access um, into the Graph API. Then we need to go back to the app catalog, select the Champion Management app, um, select the files tab and sync to teams. So back here again now, I'm going to tick that champion management app, go to the files tab and this button here that says sync to teams. That's the one we need to click. So click sync to teams and that will just take a moment. And there we can see this message that says that it's successfully synced the teams solution. Brilliant. Okay. So that's now installed that solution. So the next thing we need to do is actually continue that in Teams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to open up Teams. And I'm going to create a new team uh, for my champions. Um, and then I'm going to install the app into here. So I'm going to create a new team. Here I go. From scratch, I'm going to make it public so that anyone can join it because um, a great champions network is one that onboards new people. So I've created my champions team. Okay, I'm going to skip adding people just for now. Okay, and on my general channel, I'm just going to click the plus and I'm going to search for champion. Okay, and there we can see that champion management app. So I'm going to add it into that team. I don't really need to post to the channel about it. So I'm going to click save. And then it's just going to take a few moments to install that. So just while it does that, I'm just going to pop back to here. Um, so you do that and then um, it says click to add to add it to your team. And then you'll end up eventually with this landing page that looks like this. Um, so you will need to do things like customize the name. So it says it gives some messages saying it's being set up, etc. Um, and then I can close that. And then it says just to reload it. There we go. So there's one final step you need to do to share out uh, this and give people the right access to it. So if you look here on uh, that GitHub page, um, it's got this grant permissions to users. So it says go to yourtenant.sharepoint.com. So that's your SharePoint address. Uh, forward slash sites forward slash uh, champion management platform. So if I'm just copying this bit here, uh, and if I go to this apps for SharePoint, I can see that I've got my tenant name.sharepoint.com here. So let's just delete all of that and paste that in. And then again, in here, it says select share, enter in everyone except external users, change permissions to edit, unselect send email, and press share. So Hit share. I'm going to put in everyone except externals. Change the permissions from read to edit. Uncheck send email and click share. OK, so uh, that's that done on there. Uh, so then the only one other thing is it's got some additional customization options. So when I show you um, when I show you adding members, etc., then you can see there are some drop downs that you might want to customize. So let's have a look and see what it looks like for an admin. So here I am as an admin. I've got my champion leaderboard here. So I can click here. I can see that I am uh, the only person here. Uh, and I can then add members. So if I wanted to maybe add Angela. 
Okay, so where is she? There she is. Uh, what region is she in? So she's in Europe. What country? Okay, so I've got India, USA, UK. So she's in UK. What group or department? And what's her focus area? Okay, so she's now been added. So she will still need to be added into the team. But because I made it a public team, she can just add herself. Um, and of course, we've got this awesome digital badge icon here. So if I click onto that, um, it tells me a little bit about how that works. I can click accept um, and then it picks up my profile picture here. So you can see I've got no badge and then it overlays that champions icon here. And then all I need to do is click apply image and then it'll take up to 24 hours for it to be rolled across all the M365 applications. Um, but uh, that's, that's how that works really, really quickly. And then down here as an admin, I've got a few other ones. I've got champions list, uh, the events list. So what things can they do to earn points um, and like the tracking list. So if I click onto champions list here, that will show me that uh, I'm there and Angela. So this is actually where you can customize some of these settings on things like regions, etc. So if you go and said, OK, so I only had three countries in there. But if I go to edit the country, then I can just add other choices in there. So if I wanted to add in France, uh, then I can, and I can save that. Um, again, focus areas or groups. So let's say if I went into here and edited it, and I wanted another option, which might be uh, marketing. There we go, we can save those in there and it will automatically get updated in the app. Um, so that's that. So that's what it looks like for an admin. If you are a just a normal champion, then it looks very similar. You just don't have that bottom row of things there. So we've still got the champion leaderboard here. Uh, so you can see who's in here. Now the champions here can then do this record event. So if they click here, if they said, oh, actually on this date, I did a blog, uh, I can add that in. Uh, and then once I'm done, I just click submit. And you can see there that that's reflected in those points straight away. Um, and they can see by global, they can see near me um, or by speciality. So what's their focus area, etc. And they can see uh, where they rank globally in all of those champions. So it could be a real motivator here. Now they have an add members one, but instead of it being just adding, uh, this is actually a request. So if they wanted to add someone else in here, so let's say that we wanted to add in Nesta. There he is. Okay. Um, there we go. And we can just add those in. And then he will be requested. And then we just need to wait for the champions admin to approve him. So you can see that this is a really powerful tool to help you manage a champions program. And you can see how it would reinvigorate an existing champions network you've got, or that it's a great tool to help you if you're setting up a brand new champions network uh, to adopt some piece of technology. Um, and most of all, it is completely free. So it's an absolute no brainer why you wouldn't want to use it within your organization. Now, I know the next question you're going to ask me is, can I customize the profile pic overlay with my own uh, organization icon or champion program or whatever you've got in your organization? And the answer is yes, but you can't find out on this video because I'm going to record another video that shows you how you can customize the champion management platform app to have your own branding uh, and champions logo, et cetera, around that. So if you want to be notified when that drops, then you need to go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash productivity coach, uh, and make sure you click subscribe uh, and you click the activity notification uh, bell icon, and then you'll get uh, sent a notification from YouTube when any new content gets uploaded. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have, please share it on LinkedIn, share it with a colleague, uh, share it with other people, because there's lots and lots of people who are also trying to do exactly the same things uh, as you. And if we all work together, it all makes it a lot easier. So hopefully you did find that useful and you're gonna go and like and subscribe this video. And I will see you again on another video.